So I had the idea to come to that bike trail that I came to when I first got my e-bike. This place is packed. I'm excited. Like, look at all these cars. These were not here before. As you can see by my screen, I've already found the mud. Yeah. I can't believe how, how cool it is in here. Like, it's almost June in Florida. And, like, this morning, about 9.40, it, the sun was just blaring down on you. But it's still, like, now it's been, like, an hour or two and it's cooler in the forest. New Yorker. I'm, uh, I guess I'm impressed by the little things. I'm more intrigued, but it also might be the fact that I'm not truly pedaling because this thing's got a motor. I don't know if this is the bike for this though, because I'm in first gear and this stuff's already tough. Holy smoke, yeah. This thing does not have the clearance. This is definitely made for like, this is a pavement princess. Doesn't have very much uh, ground clearance. Not a mountain bike. But 3D machines pushes, push, <laughs> but 3D machines pushes stuff, I guess. <laughs> what the frig? It's clear that I'm misusing this tool. This is a screwdriver and I'm treating it like a punch. I've already pushed it so far where it doesn't want to go into first gear. That's just an easy adjustment. I gotta do something with this cable down here. Still, that means I'm stuck in second gear. and You know the difference between first and second, especially when you're throwing the obstacles. Obstacles are being thrown here. And you know what I was saying about being cool? <laughs> with this book bag, that's, it's insulating the heat. Back sweat. Sexy. Okay, there, it's in first gear now. There we go. Just had to talk smack about it. If you don't have pedal assist, you're in the dark. And then if you don't have a mountain bike, you're also in the dark. You know, out of all this dangerous wildlife they have down here, I haven't seen very much of any of it. Usually in New York, you can at least see like a deer or turkey. I mean, that's a rarity, but sometimes you'll see like little orange newts. We have lizards everywhere, but I haven't seen any in here. They're usually out in the sun, I guess. You know, it'd be cool, a monkey. Well, I found out the problem. Um, they, they have signs here. It's just, I failed to read that part. I read that part. And the name alone should have turned me off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so there's a sign there. No sign. We'll go this way. It sounded like they, those people went this way and said something about a color. Okay, there's a sign. Hey, good. It was that easy. If only all the decisions in my life are that easy. Oh, you know, this looks like the right path. Oh, it's the right path. Dr. Ruth, stick to the trail. Hey, listen here, Dr. Ruth. Sometimes, gotta get off the trail. I haven't even had breakfast yet. Pine tree east, see now that sounds more like my style. A green circle, sounds, er, it seems relatively inviting. Oh yeah, this is nice. Did I hear you guys, did I pass you guys before? Uh, I think so. Hey, where's the main trail? You said the main trail, what do you mean by the main trail? Like, uh, pavement. Pavement is, uh, take this out to the parking lot? That was good, thank hey. you. Rock on. See, this, these are the only kind of bikes to do it with. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if you don't have the, the pedal assist, forget it. I just asked that guy and he said this way. It's tricky once you get in here. I, I've only been here, this is my second time, and uh, 
I, I'm taking this bike down trails that it definitely should not be going down. I'm, I probably have broken a few things without me knowing it just yet. So I made it to the paved trail, thank goodness. This is where this bike belongs. Not me completely abusing it on the trail. That's the noise of not bottoming out or smacking your wheel into rocks or 3D machines cursing because he fell off and the, the thing hit his shin. What, what, foot peg? Yeah, that is not fun at all. I'm familiar with this picnic table. This is a good, good spot, as long as there's no ticks. Because ticks are, ticks do not make a good spot, believe it or not. Or poison ivy. I'm gonna sit in the, sit in the moss. All right, so I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I don't have my phone on me. I didn't bring my, oh yes I did. It's 11.41. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I think the last time I ate was about uh, 9.30 last night, 9.15 last night. This is what I'm going to eat. This is what I'm, I'm sharing with you. That's what it's all about. Sardines. And then, then herring. So, that's what I brought. These kipper snacks. I've been on these since, I think, uh, 2020. Uh, a kid, I was scuba diving with, or I was, I was at a spring down here in Florida, and uh, this kid comes to me and he says, hey, you want one of these? And I was so hungry, I, I would eat anything. And he gave me some, and uh, all it is is he kind of opened it up like that. And then you can dump the juice out. The other night uh, I disgusted coal by uh, pouring it into a glass and then drinking it. I don't think I want to drink this right now because I don't have any water on me. So I'm gonna want water though after this because this is salty stuff. So I'm gonna have to resource that somewhere. I have to go back to my vehicle or something. But yeah, you just open it like this. It looks like this. And yeah, you just scarf it down. Uh, this this one's like smoky. These ones aren't as smoky. It is a hell of a lot better than a candy bar or one of those food-like products. And really, when you're hungry, that's when you should eat. Fun trail! I mean, that brings up a pretty good question. If you're, if you're not hungry enough to eat food like this, are you even hungry? See, I'll just eat this stuff because I'm sick and twisted in the head. One down. Can't tilt it too much because they really put the stuff in here. But this one, actually I probably should have eaten this one first. Okay. Same process, kind of pour this stuff out a little bit. Bon appetit. What's interesting is you you probably don't eat like this. But then, uh, engaging in in this act, engaging in engaging this experience with me, I'm sure there's going to be a few of you that go to the store and grab these. And then you're gonna say, oh, you know. And then if you're watching this hungry, you know that that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. You buy it, and then you eat it, and now you have a direct cor correlation to this relation to to this experience. I'm 
trying to disassociate um, eating with pleasure. That idea goes right through the window though, usually during like parties. Bust out the cake. My phone's not loading. I have no service out here for whatever reason. Well, probably because there's no cell tower in the area, Dalton. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> two questions that I have for you that I didn't ask directly on, on one of my last three Machines productions and uh, what I'd like to ask now. And that is um, actually three questions. One, what do you do for work? Two, in which state do you live in? And three, um, are you passionate about what you do? And, and that third question is a, a two-parter. Is it, is it your end goal or is it a stepping stone or are you unsure? There's our conversation for the next 3D Machines production. Or, or I guess you could use the verbiage uh, a means to an end. Successful lunch, successful ride, I think I'm done. I think I've had my fulfillment, I've had my nature, I've had my fish. And I think I've had enough of this. We'll see ya.